What's bracken guys? Welcome to episode 7 of my Granada career mode. And we'll get right into this episode with a squad apart. So taking a look at Roberto. He's still tremendous. He's actually growing looking at his handling, his goalkeeping stats. Oh yeah, his backup is decent. One of our young goalkeepers, El Neom, of course, is tremendous right back. Maind is growing despite his age. Then we have Murillo, of course, the 22-year-old Colombian center back is tremendous and he's growing. So Nunkeo, one of our backup center backs on loan. One of our youngsters, Marcelo, is growing. Um, Bobby, and I would like to see him grow a little bit more. And Diacate, he, despite his age, is growing as well. He's getting better technically. And Borja Gomez is improving one of our guys out on Lone Bugatis. 21 years old, looks like he could be a solid center back. Martins and Utura is going down, unfortunately, physically and mentally, but he's still quality. Marquez is going up technically as a youth state, who I think we might try to sell, to be honest. Sisoko, we might try to hold on because he can play left mid as well. He has a little bit of um, versatility to him. Fatal, who's out on loan, looks like he'd be a very good center defensive mid. Um, and Piti is going down, but he's still tremendous. Well, Larson is improving as is Fran Rico, technically. Juan Carlos, I would love to bring him back f from Braga. These two center attacking mids, Aboguye and Eddie, could be tremendous for us. Alarabi and, of course, Corloba, up to 71 already in this f just he was started off as a 60, 69. He's up to that 71. So he can grow tremendously, especially with the form he's in right now. Then Mar Machis, I, that was actually Bravo's, uh, another youngster, a uh, young striker who looks, looks like he could be a decent poacher. Might be able to make some profit off of him or something if he doesn't stick stick to our squad. But we'll get into the first matchup now. Of course, it's a big one right here because, I mean, we're level on points. But, we, of course, we have the bad goal differential. We give up quite a bit of goals. But hopefully we can make up for that with a win against Hitafe in this matchup. So we're going to have our usual lineup out there. We'll see what uh, Hitafe has lined up in response to our 4-4-2, essentially. And they'll have a 4 2 3 1. Word out Morales and Diawara is tremendous. Pedro Leon is tremendous technically as well. So they have a lot of good players. But however, you'll see great job winning that header from, I believe that was Mains. And look at this. Fran Rico playing Cordoba over the top. He's going to take it down very nicely. He's going to hit it. And a great uh, kick save from Guiato right there. And Mains is, however, going to get the ball back here. So we see some nice possession play from us. He's going to play full care through. And you see, I always like having my center backs high like that. And it's tremendous to have. Cordoba is going to take the ball. He's just going to play Juan Carlos through. He's going to hit that underneath the keeper to score right there. He had quite a few chances in the last episode to, you know, win, win it for us. His finishing is going to be off and on. He does get quite a bit of chances from the left mid spot. So we would like him to do better. And he's able to finish it uh, that time for us for a huge uh, goal to go up right there. Cordoba is going to come down on this counter. He's going to play the ball through. Just gonna try it. He's gonna cut back in. He did that fake shot, and it was a really tame shot. Unfortunately, there was really not much going in this matchup. We were able to win one, one nothing. There was only three shots really, um, for each side. Actually, was what it was. And you see, I mean, teams are starting to come in for Gorlo, but that's a decent sum for him. But of course, I do not want to sell him. He's just tremendous, and I will, I will show the other offers. But I really would. I'm really just going to reject all right away is essentially what it is. And Hutchison, he's a 31 Canadian center defensive mid for Besiktas. He has tremendous stats, and we're going to scout him just to make it a little realistic. But I do plan to bring him on on a, uh, you know, the free contract, free transfer, as his uh, contract has expired. So we'll see how that works out. And, of course, that was uh, Olympic Lyon came in for Cordoba as well. And coincidentally, wow, we are facing Cordoba. What a fucking lead in <laughs> to this next match. That's tremendous. Um, it works so perfectly. And we'll see. We're sitting in 12th and they're sitting in 19th. So we have 20 points now. We have a chance to keep on moving up in front of Real Vallecano. That's, that's tremendous because, of course, we're in mid table, is what we're at right now, which is what the board wants us to be. So the Corlova comes out with the 4 2 3 1. Of course, no changes for us still. Juan Carlos beat the mainstay is out there on the wings now after kind of. Uh, we had some shuffling around in those spots. And, of course, Fran Rico has found himself in center midfield as well. You know, see Cordoba, he just has tremendous agility as well. He And some great build-up play as Juan Carlos has played through. He's going to play the ball back to El Arabi. He's going to flick it back heel to Cordoba. Tries to take a wild shot. And look at that. We get a little luck on our side um, because the ball was a little bit behind Cordoba. He can you know, take it first time or anything. And I just took a wild shot at it, and uh, it came to you know our liking. It worked out for us. 
So that was nice. And you'll see Mains pushing up high up there. And he's going to play El Arabi through. And I like that play from us. You know, having our center backs get involved. And El Arabi is going to sting the hands of the keeper who parried that away nicely. We'll see. Cordoba is going to try to come back here. As you see some good play from Gias right here. Look at that ball back to Garcia. Great save from Humberto. He's stretched out for that one. We'll see Fidel. Uh, showing a little bit of trickery. He's going to play a nice little pass here to Pinillos. To Garcia. To Guillez. Who's going to play Cartavia out wide. Back to Rossi. Who's going to finish that. That was some beautiful play from the side of course. That beautiful possession. You know that just patient style you see in Spanish soccer and that was a good save from Roberto right there so we're going to come out on the quick counter Cordoba right here balls played back to El Arabi and he's going to just make some moves going to play the ball back to Ituro he's going to play over the top to Cordoba set it settle it down so nicely he's going to tap that one in what a ball from Ituro and what a finish the control everything was on point for that one the build up to that goal was nice as well so we see again Murillo getting so high up the pitch our center backs is kind of our traditional style now you'll see tremendous one two play from uh, Rico and Cordoba but Rico cannot finish that one forces a save from Juan Carlos the Cordoba goalkeeper right there so again we're playing so nicely these last two matches and we would love to be able to uh, win this one to keep that form going and we'll see we have a chance right off that corner, as you could see, it was a really good save again. Itura is actually going to have a nice shot at that one. Juan Carlos really kept them in the game for so long. Uh, but however, going to the 78th minute, Itura is going to get very high up the pitch. And he's going to come down here. He's going to make some space. He's going to cross this one and almost, you know, went out right there. Cordoba is going to rise up to finish that. You can see so much to Cordoba's play, the build up, the, I mean, just the quickness, the touch, the goals. I mean, he can score some marvelous goals, some marvelous individual goals. And, you know, with that, we'll be seeing. We will have the round of 16 fixtures, both fixtures in the next episode against Real Betis. And, you know, they are a tough side despite being a second division team. They have a lot of, you know, really good players because, you know, they've just been relegated. So we'll see how that goes. And with that, guys, you know, I'll be rounding out this episode. And I'll catch you guys later.